Okay, here's a couple of uh, examples of solar installations here in Portland, Oregon. Uh, these panels here are, are probably some of the top quality panels in the business. They're made by an outfit in Hillsville, Oregon called Solar World. Uh, we get pretty good deals for them uh, locally because they're made locally, right? Now, they're, they're not all that cost effective for off-grid operation, but they're really cost effective when we're doing a subsidized uh, grid type type stuff. So, like the owner of this little building right now, it's a Domino's Pizza, probably got a pretty good deal on a lease program they do, and it bounces the subsidies around. The, uh, the subsidy program's a little tricky to deal with. Doesn't, doesn't really work all that well or apply to the off-grid construction stuff. It's really mainly for the building stuff, but it, it helps lock in cost on, on power production because what will happen is the lease payment on a solar power system stays the same for the owner of the building while the uh, uh, power eventually goes up in price over the same number of years. And then at the end of the project, you, you actually end up owning all the panels. The other thing is, in a public place with the installation, sometimes stuff's going to get damaged. And the, the, the subsidized lease programs include a form of insurance on that. But I want to show you something about how tough some of these panels can be made. Now right here, it, it looks like somebody jumped up and tried to do pull-ups on this or tugged on that thing pretty fucking hard. Um, it's, it, it, it's real fucking hard, okay? I don't know if they tried to steal it and bring it down or what, but you can see how that, that framework is all broken. Um, they, the loom is pretty tweakly bad out of shape, but the top of the panel only has like a little bit of cracking that's because the lamination holds, okay? That's the difference between the polycarbonate and tempered, tempered glass versus the regular glass you'll see on cheaper solar panels. Uh, I'm going to make another video of some panels I found in a, in a trash site where they had been badly damaged with uh, less uh, distortion and shape than this is. This one has obviously distorted shape, but when we look underneath at the little grid tie inverter, 90% uh, certain, yeah, it's still blinking. I don't know if you can see that in the video. That's still blinking, it's still making power. Now these are uh, that little AC type of box that goes on each panel right there. Uh, I'm, I'm not a big fan of that style of installation, but it's, it's the way they do these things. Is basically what turns a DC panel into an AC panel. Are those little mini mini inverter things that'll feed the whole system? Uh, it's the way they do these. It makes it modular and easy to install. Although we're we're not going to do that sort of a thing on off grid stuff. It's it's part of these lease systems. But when you see the blink rate on that on an obviously damaged panel. It's actually producing power at the same rate as the undamaged panels. It kind of shows you a little bit about what's going on with quality on solar panels. Although these panels are sometimes double or triple the money of the Asian made panels. For long term installation on grid tie stuff, yeah, we still recommend them.